Of course, I'm joking about this because I'm on a comedy show, but how would a journalist approach this Cuban-American presidential candidate? When you filled out your application to Princeton, to Harvard Law School, did you list yourself as an Hispanic? a little bit intrusive, but I understand. I mean, this year, Jeb Bush said he accidentally listed himself as Hispanic <laughs> on a voter registration form once. Hmm. Look, I get it, Jeb. Whenever I order tickets for the movies online, I always accidentally push the 11 years old button. Always happens. <laughs> it's an accident. It keeps saving me $14. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Anyhow, the interview continues. You got a favorite Cuban food, Cuban dish? Oh, I grew up eating Cuban food all the time. What's my your my favorite dish? My... <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite dish? No, man, no, no, no. I don't believe you're Cuban. <laughs> Prove it to me by saying what your favorite Cuban dish is. Answer me, fake Cuban man. Uh, you know, picadillo. I, I grew up eating all the time. We had plantains. We had uh, beans and beans and rice. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Is it beans and rice or rice and beans? Don't f with me. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Maybe he's just having fun with them, but he's gotta be satisfied with that. I mean, beans and rice sounds super Cuban to me, you know. Or as they say in Havana, soups cubes. <laughs> all right, Halperin, you believe he's de Havana now, right? All right, favorite, you, got, you like Cuban music? Do you have a favorite Cuban singer? All right, mister, you may have passed my Cuban food test. Okay, all right, okay. But let's see how you do with my Cuban music test, all right? Because one of us is not leaving this interview until he establishes his level of Cubanity. Now, digame. You know, I have to admit, in, in, in that, I'm much more of a Texan. I tend to listen to, uh, to country music more, more than Cuban music. Well played, fake Cuban Senator Cruz. Well played. <laughs> Got to do something. If you, were, uh, if you were Cuban, he would have to know Espanol. If only there was some way I could get him to speak some Espanol. I know, maybe I'll just slip it in at the end of a question to see if he notices. <laughs> That'll trip him up. He'll be none the wiser. Oh, Halpern, stop impressing me. All right, finally, I want to give you the opportunity to directly welcome your colleague, Senator Sanders, to the race, and I'd like you to do it, if you would, on Espanol. Okay, this is literally turning into a Spanish Inquisition. Literally. Yeah! Seriously, what the f***, man? Oh, hold on. Something about this just makes me feel a little sick. No, it's not so much that Halpern would stoop to such low journalistic standards, trying to trip up somebody in their ethnic identity card. It's just, I don't know how to say this. He's actually making me feel sorry for Ted Cruz. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. <clears throat> I think I just threw up in me boca. I don't even know if that's accurate. <laughs> no, Halpern actually apologized, and Cruz accepted his apology. But I am concerned. I mean, what if Halpern gets in a room with Ben Carson and goes, okay, if you're so black, Dr. Carson, how do you like your chitlins? <laughs> mm -mm. Right. But enough of Ted Cruz.